This is the ADO Air 30 Ultra, a lightweight urban e-bike that claims to be the world's first with an integrated auto shift motor. At first glance, it doesn't even look like an e-bike. The design is sleek, minimal, and super clean. It's got a compact ultra-slim battery, a responsive torque sensor, a carbon belt drive, and even a built-in GPS module for anti-theft protection and more. Let's dive in and see what this futuristic ride is all about. The bike comes in a fairly standard box, but right on the outside, you will see a clear image of the sleek looking e-bike. Mine arrived in perfect condition, no damage during transport, and everything inside was neatly packed. Assembly was quick and painless, it took me about 15 minutes to get everything set up. In the box, you'll find everything you need to get started, a few parts that need to be assembled, the charger and the cable, a basic toolkit, a pair of keys for removing the battery, and some paperwork. If you're thinking about picking one up, you can find all the links and show notes in the video description down below. Once you get the ADO Air 30 Ultra out of the box and fully assembled, the first thing you'll notice is how sleek and minimal the design is. At first glance, it doesn't even look like an e-bike, and that's a big part of its appeal. It's lightweight, yet feels solid and well-built. I really like the blend of smooth curves and sharp edges. It gives the bike a modern yet refined look, and this dual-tone color scheme is pretty eye-catching too. By the way, it does come in a few other colors. You can check the official website for those options. This bike is primarily designed for city cruising, but it can handle some light off-road riding as well. Now let's talk about the star of the show, the integrated 3-speed auto-shift motor by Befang. This is actually one of the standout features of the Air 30 Ultra. It automatically shifts between gears based on your riding situation, no manual input needed. According to ADO, this triple-speed setup can deliver up to 24% more torque at low speeds. I will explain how it actually performs in real life later in the riding experience section. The motor is rated at 250 watts, which makes it fully street legal in most places, and it caps out at 25 km per hour. There is no throttle, so we'll be pedaling the whole time, but there is a very precise torque sensor that works hand-in-hand -hand with the motor to give you a smooth and responsive boost. It also features a carbon belt drive, which means no grease, no rust, and practically no maintenance. Combined with a torque sensor and that auto shift motor, you're looking at a really seamless riding experience. There is no suspension on this bike, but it does come with a suspension seat post, which helps absorb some of the bumps. The pedals are plastic, but they feel solid and they do the job just fine. You also get full length fenders on the front and back. Lighting is solid too. The front light is surprisingly bright for night rides, and the rear light includes an integrated brake light and turn signals. Those signals can be controlled from a dedicated switch on the handlebar, which is a nice touch. Speaking of the handlebar, I really like the grips. They have a fall leather finish and anti-twist locks, and they feel comfortable during long rides. The brake levers feel high quality and are smooth to press. There is a control panel for switching your power assist levels. By default, it goes from 0 to 3, but if you tweak a setting in the app, you can expand it to 5 levels. The color display in the center is bright and easy to read. It shows your speed, battery level, time, odometer, trip distance, average speed, and more. It even displays phone signal strength, GPS connection, and other system info. You can press and hold the plus button to turn the lights on or off, and press and hold minus key to activate walk mode. There is even a USB Type-C port for charging your devices, and yes, a good old mechanical bell. Here's how it sounds. Riding the Air 30 Ultra is genuinely a pleasant experience. That integrated 3-speed auto-shipped motor, it actually works, and it works really well. You can feel the gear changes internally, but they are smooth, subtle, and precise. In practice, it makes your ride feel more effortless, especially when tackling steeper hills or tougher terrain. What really stands out here is the strong torque delivery. From a standstill to the top speed of 25 km per hour, the bike accelerates surprisingly fast. It honestly feels more powerful than your typical 250 watt setup. That triple speed system really shines in low speed situations where it delivers noticeably more torque, giving you an extra push when you need it most. Climbing performance is also impressive, especially for such a compact and lightweight e-bike. It handles slopes with confidence, and the whole ride feels smooth and well-controlled. 
this bike was clearly designed for urban commuting, and that's exactly where it performs best. The combination of the automatic shifting motor, the super accurate torque sensor, and the carbon belt drive all come together to deliver a quiet, responsive, and seamless ride. The bike is nimble and easy to maneuver through the city streets, bike lanes, and tight corners. Even at higher speeds, the bike remains stable and well-balanced. On downhill stretches, if you're pedaling hard, you can easily go beyond 40 km per hour. While it's not meant for hardcore off-road riding, it can definitely handle light off-road trails like forest paths, gravel, and even grassy areas without much trouble. That said, you do feel the lack of the front suspension on rougher terrain. But thanks to the suspension seat post and the comfy saddle, smaller bumps and uneven paths are still manageable. So yes, while this is a very much a city-focused e-bike, you're not limited to just paved roads. It has enough versatility for light off-roading as well. Finally, the hydraulic brakes are excellent. They are strong, responsive, and bring the bike to a stop quickly and safely. All in all, the riding experience is smooth, powerful, and surprisingly refined. That integrated 3-speed motor isn't just a gimmick, it really does enhance the ride, especially when paired with a torque sensor and carbon belt. It's a well-thought-out system that delivers on its promises. The Smart Connect module deserves its own spotlight in this video because, as the name suggests, it's what makes this bike both smart and secure. It offers three key features, GPS anti-theft tracking, movement detection, and an alert zone function. All of these are managed through the companion app, which is packed with functionality. Let's take a look at how it works. First of all, thanks to the built-in GPS, you can locate your bike at any time directly on the map in the app. Super useful if you are parked it somewhere unfamiliar or worst case scenario if it gets stolen. Then there is the alert zone feature which the app refers to as the electronic fence alarm. You can set a virtual perimeter around your bike and if it moves beyond that radius, you will get an instant notification on your phone. Movement detection also adds an extra layer of security. If someone tampers with a bike, tries to move it, or even if it accidentally tips over, you'll be alerted right away. But that's just the start. The app also gives you full control over various bike settings. You can toggle between eco and sport modes, turn the lights on or off, and check the message center for system alerts or updates. It tracks your riding data too, total distance, ride duration, carbon emissions saved, and even logs your rides in a built-in calendar. There is also a GPS trip mode that you can activate, and if needed, you can set an overspeed warning. In the settings menu, you'll find tons of customization options, from display brightness and backlight sensitivity to assist level configuration, unit preferences, cycling mode, language, Bluetooth unlock range, auto power off timing, password setup, and more. Overall, this Smart Connect system, especially with the GPS tracking, is a major plus. It's a premium level feature that many e-bikes don't include, and in real-world use, it's genuinely practical and valuable. When it comes to range, there are quite a few variables that come into play. Your riding style, terrain, rider weight, temperature, and so on. The manufacturer claims up to 100 km on a single charge, but of course, that's under ideal conditions. In real-world usage, if you ride efficiently in eco mode, you can realistically expect around 70 to 80 km per charge. That's still a solid range for a city-focused e-bike. Just keep in mind, if you are riding in sport mode, climbing hills, or riding aggressively, your range will be shorter. So, your actual mileage will vary depending on how and where you ride. The battery is easy to manage. You can charge it while it is mounted on the bike or remove it and charge it separately, whichever is more convenient for you. It locks securely in place using a key for added safety. The battery is lightweight, slim, and compact, making it super convenient to take it with you and charge at home. There's also a clever extra security layer. After unlocking the battery with a key, you still need to press a hidden release button to actually remove it. So even if you forget to relock it, most people wouldn't know how to take it out. Charging takes about 4-6 to six hours, which is pretty standard for a battery of this size. So, after spending some solid time with the ADO Air 30 Ultra, I can confidently say this is one of the most thoughtfully designed urban e-bikes I've tested. It looks clean and minimal, almost like a regular bike, but it packs in a ton of modern features. A lightweight frame, a smooth and silent carbon belt drive, a responsive torque sensor, and of course, that integrated 3-speed auto-shift motor, which isn't just a cool spec on paper, it genuinely enhances the ride. 
Whether you're cruising city streets, climbing hills, or gliding through light off-road trails, it delivers a smooth, controlled, and powerful experience. The built-in GPS and Smart Connect system add a serious layer of security and functionality, and the companion app is surprisingly robust. Battery range is also solid for an urban commuter, and the battery itself is super compact and easy to take with you. Yes, the bike lacks suspension, so it's not built for rough terrain, but for its intended purpose as a lightweight smart city commuter, the ADO Air 30 Ultra nails it. All in all, if you're looking for a low-maintenance, tech-savvy e-bike that's fun to ride and packed with premium features, this one should absolutely be on your list. Tell me in the comments section down below what do you think about the Air 30 Ultra. Would you buy this e-bike or would you choose another option? As always, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel for more e-bike videos and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.